Well, you guys remember last stream, or a few streams ago, we talked about the whole H3 podcast. Uh, they were talking crap about Keemstar, dating somebody younger. Trisha also piled on to Keemstar with um, Ethan. They kind of tag-teamed Keemstar together and tried to took him down for, you know, dating somebody that was 20 years younger than him. And um, now, a picture was leaked of... Trisha going on to Mom's Basement, which is Keemstar and FaZe Banks' uh, crappy podcast that they have. I've listened to it, and it's dog crap. But Trish Paytas went on and apparently wanted to squash the beef. She wanted to, you know, get the beef out of the way, just completely squash it. And so she went on to the podcast. And, of course, our favorite drama queen, Ethan Klein, had something to say about it. Um, because, you know, he loves drama. So, he said, I'm not even gonna front or try to be funny. That just really makes me sad. Then he further elaborated and said, Gabby Hanna messaged me immediately after Frenemies broke up, trying to get on the podcast. I knew it would be an interesting show with lots of views to be had, but I didn't even respond to her, and still haven't. Sometimes, you just don't- There's some things you just don't do. I would never do that to Trisha. Oh, yes. Guys- High Road Ethan, he, he's, he, oh man, how awesome is he? He always takes the high road and he's such a big daddy, big daddy Ethan Klein. He's so freaking sexy and hot and he always takes the high road and he's such, he's so better than everybody else. Well, guess who had something to say back at Ethan? Well, you know, the queen of drama is going to say something. Trisha Paytas made one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, probably more videos. Oh, yep, 20, 21 about the entire situation on her TikTok. What the frick? Are you kidding me? I've made it very clear I don't like any I don't like Ethan, I don't like Trisha, I don't like Keem. I'ma keep it unbiased while watching these videos, but like y'all got to chill with the beef. Y'all are just tearing each other down, making y'all's loyal fan bases mad at each other. What good is it doing? None. But I guess let's watch what she has to say even address these comments because like everyone's so quick to judge like oh my god you went on keemster's podcast just assuming i'm team keem i want to be keem's friend i'm on keem's side when podcasts are meant to be discussions and going back and forth with someone that you heavily disagree with and this whole thing started with me coming for keemstar's relationship and um i just thought talking about it on a bigger platform and i've gone on people's podcasts who have tricked to be fair, I don't think Mom's Basement is a bigger platform. Um, I don't even—I don't know anybody who listens to Keemstar's podcast. Heard me in the past, Gabby Hanna trying to make peace. I met Ethan going on his podcast because he made a video saying that I looked like a corpse and a wrestler. And I, I do believe he's changed since then, making fun of like female presenting people's looks. Um, but I don't know if he would have changed. Maybe he wouldn't have changed if I didn't go on. I just like having discussions with people on podcasts. Everyone takes things so personally and they think they're personal attacks when I'm my own person. I go on people's podcasts. It's what I did before. It's what I do now. It's what I do, period. <laughs> people. <laughs> Ugh, people. Anyway, so if you guys look in the comments, there's a bunch of H3 Ethan Klein stands saying, oh, I bet you still beat Moses, which is kind of out of pocket, but it's whatever. And, um, yeah, so she's catching a lot of flack for doing this. Um, if I was Trisha, maybe I would have let Ethan know I was doing this and kind of got his opinion, if you guys are friends. Um, but I understand wanting to talk it out with Keem and try to settle things like an adult. It's just, if it was me, I would settle things like an adult. Which is settling things in private. <laughs> but, you know, um, to each their own. They are social media personalities and they live their entire lives on the internet. My going on my mom's basement was not attacking Ethan. I had my own issue with Keemstar. I made the first video towards Keemstar. Ethan inserted himself in it and his channel got banned. Keem did not do the strike on his channel. Again, me going on another person's podcast does not mean I'm pro them. I like to have discussions with people, especially about people I disagree with. I like to have open discussions. I like to have like clear air 
again that's how i met ethan was when he did a video trashing me i tried to go on gabby's podcast to make some sort of peace i have my own issues with kim that i can talk about ethan lied to his huge fan base about me wanting to fire crew when that did not happen. He admitted it didn't happen. He screenshotted my private text and sent him to his crew to vilify me, to make me look awful. If you want to talk about her and people doing stuff out of spite, this Trisha Paytas for Gabby Anna was the first families after our frenemies ended. In the podcast, they talk about me being the same as Gabby Hanna. This was the most triggering shit for me at the time. My going. Well, Trisha's triggered, guys, and then she uh, also repeated the thing that she was saying before. So that's what you get out of that I video. I met Ethan. I went on his podcast for the first time after he did a video saying that I looked like a WWE wrestler. I'm not even going to lie. It just seems like she's saying the same thing over and over again in all these TikToks. They're about to slam down that I looked like a corpse sitting in my casket. And I still went on his podcast. I told Keem straight up, like, I'm not pro Keem. I said, I'm more teammate than I'm not pro Keem. And we're not going to be friends after this. Like, I say that on the podcast. Like, it benefits people a lot more to have. You know what? When Ethan was going to debate Stephen Crowder, I was so excited about it because I love when people can have debates and discussions and, like, opposite opinions. That's why I like people like The View and people, you know, people like Frenemies because we were opposites that had different opinions. Logan and KSI did a podcast together and got 10 million views. Well, they're friends. Me and Gabby did a podcast together and it was her most viewed podcast. I think it's healthy to sit down and talk to a person. Especially because especially Kim and Ethan's beef, it's becoming like, it's always became more serious. They lost sponsors last summer. This summer, they're like, you know, Ethan. And that's a good point. It just seems like, it just seems like the beef between freaking Keemstar and Ethan, they're just hurting each other. Like, they're not... They're not, neither one of them is going to win. It's a lose-lose situation. So while I have resentment towards Ethan in that last episode and him just like really not giving a shit that I'm getting so much hate and the same thing with he did with my sister uploading her TikTok when she deleted it. Like I do have resentment for that. Not everything I do is about him. It's long gone. The way he inserted himself into me and Keemstar's drama being like they're going against each other. Like inserting it into our thing. And I actually agree with her on that point. Ethan got involved in the drama when he, there was no place in getting involved other than trying to come at Keem. Um, but, hey, the kings and queens of drama on YouTube. Like, he did that to himself, you know? So naturally it's going to be brought up because he did a video about it and that's the video that got removed or whatever. My initial video about Keem's had nothing to do with Ethan. I never, I didn't mention Ethan in it. He was on a Twitch saying that he knew how much I made on all my websites and stuff and how this other girl was making way more than me. He's constantly taking jabs at me, his parents talking about my weight, his parents saying I'm just like Gabby Hanna when he knows how triggering that is to me when I begged him not to put, and he puts me in the same freaking thumbnail. And then he did it again, he's been complaining that I talk about him, but then he did it again a week ago, putting my name and picture in the thumbnail. It's the hypocrisy for me. Uh, I just, I, Golly. Think about this. Ethan had no problem airing three of my mental breakdowns where I literally lost my shit and went out with that door. He had no problem. Why? Because I was in the wrong. I was 100% in the wrong of those. And up until the last episode, yeah, I, I, I acted shitty. But then that final episode where we're talking peaceful and he admit he did s some shit and that he straight up lied because I had him, we sat there. I recorded the whole thing because I know people fucking edit shit. And I was like, find me this. And he looked, he was searching. He was trying to find where I said, I wouldn't show up if Dan was there. I was trying to see where it was. Like, it didn't. And like, it just sucks. Cause he's like, you know what? Yeah, I fucked up too. And it's like, that's all like hit, like I would have needed to hear publicly, but I'm still getting bashed for. I'm still all this, it's even now. Me going on a podcast has nothing to do with Ethan. I've talked about the situation on other podcasts, but because it's Keemstar, it's like, oh, like this makes me sad. I've been a YouTuber 15 years. I've been around before everybody. This is how I stay relevant. This is what I do. Yes, and if you know, if you've kept up with Trisha for 15 years, you know that she posts her own mental breakdowns every five days. So I started this. I had an issue with Keem and his relationship because it triggered something in me. I started this video. It was between me and Keemster. So when Keem's like, will you go on my podcast the same way? Ethan had asked me when we had beef the same way. Gabby Hannah had asked me when we had beef. I said, yes, I would go on Jeff. I would go on Davis. I would go on anybody that I've had issues with because it can go bad. It can go off. I just want to have discussions. I think it's, I think it's what people should do. I truly think people do change. And I think Ethan is the prime example of that. He did a video. The first video he ever did about me was making fun of me, Tana, Nikita, saying they look like Twinkies. Whale. Well, yes, because Ethan used to be funny and he used to make fun of people. And now he just acts like a beta. I don't know, dude. He, do, he don't hit. None of you guys hit anymore. You guys are... Trisha, Ethan, Keem. 
they all get themselves in stuff that they have no business getting in and then they cry when they have to catch flack for their own actions and it's 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 annoying these whales all this stuff like that and i do believe he's changed and you know what i'm gonna take credit for that i i don't think he could he he's talking about lana rhodes is peanut all this stuff just like degrading women based off their looks right and he's not like that anymore. And I truly do believe he's changed. And I'm going to give myself a little credit because I went on that podcast. We did become friends. We had a whole podcast together. And I think he grew and changed. And I think that's the beauty of having discussions with people. So I started. Yeah, having discussions is good. I agree. I don't care how many people are like, just get over it, get over it. I don't have to get over shit. I don't have to get over shit, whatever. Well, yeah, you're not going to get over it because you've made... What am I on? You still got seven, eight more videos that you made about Ethan. What are, you, what are some of your recent things? <laughs> Copyrighted music? Question mark? Ethan is the best friend, so loyal. Thank you, Ethan. You only bullied and harassed my sister off the internet, sent a lot of hate towards Moses, lied on my name, brought up my past when you have your own skeletons in your closet. Then uh. you the title, Trisha Paytas versus Gabby Hanna, just a few days later, knowing that would have triggered me, having your mother compare me to Gabby Hanna, bringing that up on the last episode of Friday News, making sure that I heard that she compared me to Gabby Hanna, but said I wasn't as bad. So you guys talked about Gabby Hanna, said she was worse than me, but kind of the same, but worse than me. That's why you didn't have her on have her on i was the one to always encourage i said you should have james charles on he said he would i was like let's have jeff Wittig on nobody else wanted jeff out. like have those discussions i had beef with keen that i started i had misspoke on phase i go on there to clear my name it's not even out not everything is a personal attack well i do agree keem kind of uh h3 h3 I mean, it just seems it just seems like H3H3 H3 and Trisha are both trying to play the victim here. H3H3 H3 is like, oh, Trisha, Trisha's coming at me. And then Trisha's like, oh, H3H3 H3 is coming at me. I, I don't know. It's just like, who can be the bigger victim? None of you will win. Uh, I mean, Trisha's getting the bigger hate. But I mean, they're both acting immature. That's it. And, and they're gonna, this is gonna be a never-ending cycle of beef. It's never gonna freaking end. Keemstar is always gonna be the troll watching from the background. It's ridiculous. Okay. So, maybe you guys should all have a private Zoom call. Nobody watching, no YouTube viewers, no public, no recording. And just freaking talk like adults. Because holy crap, you guys. You can't just shade people on Twitter. You can't just make 27 videos about them on TikTok saying the same thing over and over again. You can't have them on a podcast and, uh, you know, talk. that's probably the best way to talk, maybe, uh, publicly is a podcast because it can't be edited and you can just straight up talk. But, I mean, just talk like adults. I'm hardly an adult and I feel like I'm 10 times mature than anybody in the situation. Imagine. Imagine having thoughtful fruitful and meaningful discussions that's something that trisha keemstar or ethan klein have never understood thank you so much for watching this video if you haven't already make sure you subscribe for more content also check out the video that's popping up on your screen now it really helps me out finally click that join button if you'd like to and become a channel member for exclusive content oh yeah join my cult <laughs> wait what